Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've begun talking about whether particular actions can be considered murder, and now it's time to discuss killing someone through an intermediary. Is that murder? The only way to really figure out whether killing through intermediaries is murder is, again, to put it through the test of ethics. However, there are different kinds of killing in this way, and each should be analyzed separately. Type 1. Asking or hiring someone else to carry out an act of murder, fully intending for the victim to die. Type 2. Supporting a murderer in his murder because you agree with his murdering. Type 3. Supporting a murderer for some other reason. Type 4. Being forced to support a murderer by someone else. If all of this sounds familiar, it should. It's basically the same issue we went over in episode 24, in step 6 of our analysis of ethics, the issue of cooperation with evil. In that episode, we talked about how one can cooperate with evil in various ways. Still, to figure out which of these may be considered murder, we should go through the earlier steps of ethics with regard to each of them. Type 1. What am I doing? Hiring someone. Is this action evil by its nature? No. What is my intention in doing this act? For someone to be murdered. Okay, type 1 is clearly evil. By intending for the act of murder to be done and acting to bring about the crime, you are also guilty of the crime, whether you actually pull the trigger or not. Type 2. What am I doing? Supporting someone. Is this action evil by its nature? No. What is my intention in doing this act? For someone to be murdered. Type 2 is basically the same as type 1. The only difference is in whose idea the murder is. Again, you're implicated in the crime because you wanted it to happen and you acted to bring it about. Type 3. What am I doing? Supporting someone. Is this action evil by its nature? No. What is my intention in doing this act? Here, we can see that a lot depends on the intention. If your intention is for some good to be accomplished through your support of this evildoer, then there's nothing evil about that intention. However, you still need to face the third step of ethics, and perhaps others as well. Do the circumstances make this action evil? Again, it depends what the circumstances are. Offering support to an evildoer is not always evil in itself, however. Sometimes one may be justified in supporting even a very wicked man for the purpose of preventing an even worse evil. How do we tell what's a worse evil? Well, look at the Ten Commandments. Whatever results in more of these being broken more often is always a worse evil. Type 4. What am I doing? Supporting someone. Is this action evil by its nature? No. What is my intention in doing this act? I have no intention. I'm being forced to do it. Therefore, the intention can't be evil because it doesn't exist. Do the circumstances make this action evil? On the contrary, the circumstances make it impossible to avoid this action. So in cases like this, you're not participating in the evil act just because you're being forced to help an evildoer. After all, it's not your fault. Finally, on the topic of this issue of supporting evil, it should be noted that it doesn't just apply to murder, but to every kind of serious sin. Supporting it with the intention of allowing it to be done is evil by its nature. Lots of people today think that it's charitable to support all forms of liberty and license, to give people every opportunity to do whatever they want. But if people want to do evil, it's not charitable. In fact, it can be a serious sin. That may be hard to hear these days, but it's the truth, and that's all there is to it. Next time, what about stem cell research? Is that murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.